The Nazis knew a lot about science. Why did they use hydrogen gas in their balloons that easily reacts with oxygen when helium, that is slightly heavier, is chemically inert, and caused the Hindenburg disaster? Tomas Vargasan Mainly because Nazis had people who knew a lot about science and knew hydrogen does not, in fact, react easily with oxygen. Hydrogen flame Wait what? Well, first of all, hydrogen without oxygen obviously won't react with oxygen. You need to mix these two gases first. Gas bags on Hindenburgs were free of oxygen anyway. If you tried to lit a match in that it wouldn't light up. If you brought an open flame inside it would be snuffed out by the lack of oxygen. The gas bags really didn't increase the risk all that much. They'd need to be punctured first and the leak would only be dangerous at a very minimal point where burning could theoretically happen. But an oxygen-hydrogen mixture is quite stable until it reaches 700 degrees Celsius where it ignites. You could add liquid aluminium, melting point 660 degrees Celsius, to the bag with a proper hydrogen-oxygen mixture and aluminium would oxidize burn, but hydrogen would just sit there and wait for better times. Hydrogen also had three advantages over helium that allowed for 8% more lift and, crucially, didn't leak nearly as much. Helium is a noble gas, just atoms of a gas floating about in space. Hydrogen is a two-atom molecule, and is nearly twice the size of helium. You probably had a helium balloon before, those always leak. Fill the same balloon with air, and it stays inflated for far longer. This exact same problem existed on helium airships, using hydrogen instead greatly reduced the issue. The third thing is availability, you can produce hydrogen from water if you want. It's easy, fill a container with water, stick two electrodes inside, apply current and collect the bubbles. Helium has only limited available deposits, we're actually running low on them right now. No such deposits existed in Nazi Germany, and no one was willing to sell them the gas so hydrogen was the only available option anyhow. Hindenburg Disaster a far, far better question would be why did they paint the damn thing with flammable paint that, unlike hydrogen, was in contact with atmospheric oxygen and was in contact with metal that could produce sparks and painted over a flammable fabric for good measure. The hydrogen inside made of a lovely fireball, but the airship was going down no matter what was used for buoyancy. Since hydrogen is also lighter than air all hydrogen oxygen fire and heat would be directed away from the airship anyhow. Hydrogen only made the disaster look worse and more iconic. It contributed very little to the event or the death toll. 73.8k views. View 3407 upvotes.